Hey, what's up guys? It's Mario back again with another trade video. Today, guys, I actually did trade uh, only one stock, but it was in the cybersecurity sector. Uh, there was two stocks that I actually really liked. One was Zscaler and the other one was CrowdStrike. Both actually had earnings report yesterday after hours. Uh, and actually not yesterday after hours, on Wednesday after hours. And yesterday we had a really nice move on both of them. Uh, but I only traded one. Uh, and unfortunately, I traded the one that didn't move. Uh, so it was really interesting to kind of see uh, both <clears throat> stocks in the same sector, excuse me, uh, trade uh, differently, even though they both had earnings reports that were actually uh, met or actually exceeded. Um, and it's very interesting to kind of see that because a lot of these stocks tend to trade together. You know, a lot of traders call them sympathy plays, uh, where one stock, you know, in the same sector, uh, you know, tends to do really, really well in terms of when, especially in a news announcement, like an earnings reports or a uh, press release and the same stocks in the same sectors tend to follow that. So unfortunately, uh, Zscaler, uh, did not move like CrowdStrike, uh, but actually decided to trade, uh, Zscaler just because I like the, 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 the sharp better. Uh, but for whatever reason, it did not move. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go over that trade and kind of explain to you, first of all, why I decided to trade Zscaler versus CrowdStrike and also what did I like and how I managed that trade. So uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me uh, share my screen so we can get started. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So here's uh, Zscaler's uh, daily chart. Huge breakout on an earnings report. Uh, we had a really nice move yesterday. Now let's look at uh, CrowdStrike. Also a breakout, all-time highs, but the move wasn't as strong. But for whatever reason, one of them decided to uh, trend and move and uh, go green, right a green type of move versus the other one um, decided kind of just stay red. You know, so I'm gonna kind of cover that because uh, I find it very interesting. Now, by the way, <clears throat> both uh, actually bet, uh, excuse me, uh, beat earnings. Uh, if you look at CrowdStrike here at the earnings report, uh, let me show you, I think this is a lot easier to kind of show you guys uh, right here using thinkorswim. Uh, it, you know, the, uh, the analyst estimates was uh, actually negative 15 cents earnings per share, uh, but they actually exceeded that and they won and, and they actually uh, reported an eight cents, uh, positive eight cents per share. Now Zscaler on the other hand, analysts were looking at uh, negative three, three, seven uh, earnings per share and they have reported 14 cents gain per share. So again, both of them had really good earnings reports. Uh, and actually, if you look at uh, the intraday chart on, on Zscaler, had a huge opening range breakout uh, in the morning yesterday. This would have been an amazing trade uh, that I actually do tend to trade. Um, you know, this would have been a you know great entry right here after it broke uh, above uh, 165, which is the pre-market, you know, pre-market range. And the funny thing, um, CrowdStrike had a similar setup as well yesterday. Um, you know, if you, if you look at, uh, you know, the pre-market, there were some pre-market topping action right here. Uh, let's say you could probably say uh, eh, 160, I think uh, it's fair. So 160, and it kind of had another RB, but it wasn't as strong as uh, you could say Zscaler. Uh, but it did have an open range breakout here in the open. But what I was, what made me interested in kind of trade Zscaler versus CrowdStrike on a second day move was the intraday chart. Now, if you look at CrowdStrike, it wasn't really doing much. Uh, excuse me. Um, after it broke out in the morning, it didn't really do much it kind of almost double, double topped here and it broke below the volume weighted average price. And it started to kind of test this 160 again, important level, again, pre-market breakout. And it kind of just stayed there. So to me, I was like, okay, that might be a second day move, but I don't know. I, don't, I just don't like how the intraday, how the, how the intraday uh, price went the day before. On the other hand, if you look at Zscaler, look at it, beautiful uh, opening range breakout. Uh, it literally trended pretty much majority of the day uh, and it closed above the val volume with the average price. A lot of volume came in. So I prefer to trade stocks, especially on the long side for a low hanging fruit long 
they have had a really nice intraday moves the day before, especially the close uh, near or at highs, you know, which in this case, uh, Zscaler closed around 180, 185, and the high of the day, the day before was at 189. So that to me looks really, really nice. Very promising for a second day move. Um, so what I was looking for was I was looking for a weak open uh, to the midpoint, which was right here at 179.50. And I was looking for it to bounce and, and kind of go uh, red or green, you know, kind of break above this 185. Um, and fortunately, it didn't. It actually broke down and it actually tested a standard deviation, um, um, I think you could say range on the, on the low side, the low end of the standard deviation uh, move um, at 176.83 and it bounced off from there and actually ended up stopping there. So it, would have, it was probably not the best place to stop. Uh, if, if there was anything that I could, you know, uh, I guess you could say constructive criticize in terms of uh, my own trade, uh, sorry about that guys, would be that I would have stopped out here once it kind of broke below uh, 180, 178, 178, uh, 70s, right here below this low, because it was creating a, a nice upper trend. And if it, once it breaks that trend, you know, you shouldn't be there. Uh, but the funny thing, you know, which I found it very weird and very interesting, guys, is that, again, Zscaler, Cross strike, same industry, same sector. They it decided to move. Zscaler decided to move and did pretty much a red or green move that I was actually looking for on Zscaler. Um, so I found that very, very interesting and quite uh, funny because again, the whole reason why I did not trade uh, cross strike was because I felt that yesterday's move wasn't strong enough to continue that move. Uh, but Zscaler, on, on the other hand, did, but for whatever reason, it didn't do anything. So I almost feel like whoever wanted to trade the cybersecurity uh, sector, instead of trading Zscaler, they went long cross track. So go figure, guys. Go figure. So something that I'm going to keep in mind for next time I trade, especially as I see stocks in the, in the same sector industry uh, moving together. Now, uh, yesterday's close on Zscaler was actually 161.19. And I'm using the, uh, I usually like to put uh, this uh, color on, on yeah, previous close. And as I, I got the number from right here, see the close? And we're talking about yesterday's close. So it pretty much did what I was actually expecting on Zscaler. This is what I was expecting, you know, weak open, bounce, and uh, red or green. And actually, the midpoint here was uh, 160.83. Um, and for whatever reason, Zscaler decided not to follow, you know? Uh, so that I found that very interesting, you know, and I ended up stopping out. You know, I took a loss on this on, on this on this trade, even though the probabilities were really high. Um, so go figure, guys. So that's the reason why this is, is actually very difficult to trade, guys, because sometimes the probabilities could look will be in your side, and for whatever reason, it just does not work. And and also, right, really, what I really liked about Zscaler, if you if I go the one year. Uh, daily chart. Here's another earnings report where it had a nice breakout, nice trend, and here it decided to do a red or green continuation of that trend. And this is exactly what it was looking for today on Zscaler. And again, guys, it didn't, which I found very, very interesting. Um, but it it happens, guys. Now, right now, it's kind of like you know, it bounced off this uh, standard deviation low. And it kind of hit my target on one of my targets, it was which, which was 183. But again, I only trade the first hour, so that's the reason why I was pretty much done with it. So uh, hey, it happens, guys. Um, you know, I found it very interesting because it was even consolidating here, and I love these consolidations, especially on weak opens, because they tend to break out really nice to the upside. You know, so I was looking for that breakout of 181.50 or 182, and just gonna continue maybe go green, you know, red or green, you know, again, similar to what cross site did, you know, week open and then boom, go green and then continue to trend. So, Hey, go figure guys. So that was pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys learned from this video. 
you know, everything could be just perfect, the trade, the entry, and for whatever reason, even though even the sector is still moving, the uh, NASDAQ was moving, everything was moving, um, and still the trade not work out. That's the reason why trading is, is difficult, and that's also the reason why risk management is so important. You got to make sure you, you know, have a stop, specific stop uh, to get out of the trade if it does not work the way you expect it to work. Again, even though everything on the on Zscaler looked like it was gonna work, for whatever reason, Crossstrike, another uh, cybersecurity uh, company decided to trend and move, but Zscaler decided to kind of just, you know, bum out. So go figure. All right, guys, well, hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. I'll see you guys the next time. Have a good one, guys. And also have a great weekend too. Have a good one.